Welcome back, guys, to new Pokemon Snap. Well, last episode, after diving into the depths when Illumina Wishy Washy awaited, we gathered all the singular fish into their school form as it danced around the sea, bringing the count of Illumina Pokemon found to free as we then started our hunt for the fourth after checking out the camp from a different angle. Returning to the volcano, we found a new path awaiting for us in its second level version, taking a picture of an ancient rune within that may lead us to our target. I can't believe there were ruins that deep inside. I already took a photo of them before. They must have been built by people too, right? Mm -hmm. Right you are, and most likely with some special purpose in mind. Also. As for that big hole we saw in the wall, I picked up an Illumina Pokemon's energy coming from inside. Uh -huh. Where do you suppose the hole leads? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if it were a tunnel all the way to a far off volcano. You think there's a Pokemon that uses that tunnel to get around? What kind of Pokemon would do that? Mm. Let's see for ourselves. Good luck on this next expedition. Sure thing. It's Jamojimon. Oh, wrong game. So it's going from this side again if I would do the thing. I complete the task! <laughs> Where is it though? Where is it? I want my reward. Look at all these swimming clam pool. I took a photo of it. Favorite hangout spot of Corsola. You can get the Puku Muku to return to the sea. This guy wants to see Mad Champ from the front. It's got some taste. The way Octolu's eye in the sand over there, something about to happen, I know it. How many times have we actually made that happen? You can make it clap the hands? But I heard they spin the whole body around to play. Oh, uh, what? But if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Want to see that? I actually got them to do their lucky four leaf clover, did I? I thought I managed to make them do that. Can make them dance too. Still trying to find the one I need to get. Seven colored glow. Something glowing in all seven colors of the rainbow. Needs to hit a thing. It was an Alomomoma and a Fillish, but I'm not going to tell you what happened next. I missed that. A sunlit cave hiding away somewhere. Yeah, I think I saw that cave, and then I was like, there's something down there, but I didn't get to do anything with it. Okay, where the hell is this town? Oh, there, it's right at the end. Archaeops with ease. Oh, good, it did eat it. Thanks for checking for me. It does eat apples. That is cool. So I've got to get it to eat fluff fruit and... Oh. Oh, I did that! <laughs> I've, like, done most of the thing. Grr. Well, off on our next destination, then. So, Fireflow Volcano, we're going to the Illuminous Spot. Let's get on our way. Who's that Pokemon? What heat level this rated for? Oh my! Two Volcarona! A pair of Illumina Pokemon? Incredible! They flew off down that tunnel! Follow them! So you say. I gotta put the flames out, and then I can hit them with aluminum orbs. Come on, apples of fire retardantness. No, okay. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that did, that did a thing. Apples, put out fluff fruit, put out fire. But they're apples, you know where they are. I need to be faster somehow. I'm not leering. Look, you, look, I, you're not even in range for me to hit you. Missed every shot again. Oh, you gotta aim really high to hit these. I'm not gonna get a single photo of this, right? This is going terribly. Look, can you stand still for like two seconds? Okay, I hit one. You gotta aim like so high. It's on the other side of this rock for me. Yes! Take a picture! Take a picture! <laughs> Don't tell me it doesn't count unless I illuminate you up. Okay, well maybe I've got one picture that counts now. No, come back. Definitely got a few pictures to probably count. Meanwhile, from behind here somewhere. Oh, it's definitely from behind me. There it is. Oh, they've all put their flames back on again then. Oh my goodness. I gotta make you glow. Got one. Got oh, both, I got both. Now what's a good picture of them? Again, because we can only even take one in the first place. I feel like this is my supposed to be my last chance attack for that one. Like maybe you can do the flower through. Through the fires, which is the whole point in their placement. Pokemon is gone. Well, I guess I, that's it for now. I should probably get You'd be terrible of Ace, but what do you mean? Throw it. Throwing a game, like in this game, is completely different than throwing a ball in real life. <laughs> you can stand that far away from me and I'll throw it at your face and we'll see if we hit, okay? <laughs> Not that I mean or anything. I throw a lot faster too. <laughs> Shots fired, it's a challenge. It's not a threat. <laughs> Just pointing out, this is throwing game mechanics in a game. Nothing I throw is anywhere like I'd throw. You have to aim like so high to even get the hit. We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get your photos evaluated. 
Indeed we shall. So nothing with the fire on counts. Nothing without the aluminum orb counts. I'm sure somewhere in the middle of this. Yeah, I was about to say we got one really good one star. Interestingly, I didn't get a single like two star. Or three or four. But if that is not a diamond, I would be amazed. Let's do this. Time to check these photos. Excellent. Wow, oh, Volcarona, the Illumina Pokemon of Veluca Island. I'm amazed you caught this on camera. Nice work. Okay, pose. It's only over 1,000. Size is perfect. Direction was perfect. Placement. How is the placement not also perfect? Come on. Why are you messing with me on that one? It's a diamond, though. But I'm sorry I don't understand the ins and out of ball throwing in this game. <laughs> or fluff fruit flowing. Level two. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. I mean, I don't know if he's comfortable or not, considering basically what I spent the entire day doing was chucking things at it. That makes things comfortable with you. I don't know what does. That's confuses me. Banquet of Fire, the pop filter. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll pull you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. So, supposedly he knew there was four, Mr. Vince. There was only two that you could find, but we've now found four. So what does this mean? I wonder what the maximum points you can actually even get on a single picture is. Seems to be probably like, well, actually, because you might be able to get background, etc. Somewhere 6,000 plus, right? How come you're always the one who finds the Illumina Pokemon? <laughs> I'm sure you'll have the pleasure before long, Phil. Anyway, by the look of things, the telemeterite affected a very wide area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Professor, just like you thought. I wonder if the nearby Pokemon made it through okay. Let me see. Judging by how far the effect spread, I would assume the impact caused tremendous damage. But we haven't found a shred of evidence to support that assumption. Huh. Yeah, isn't it weird? Do you think that Illumina Pokemon we saw just now was the last one? Yep. Good question. I've actually just discovered something remarkable on that front. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss it once we're all back together. Like, aren't we? That was awesome. <laughs> Get ready. Because we're going outside the travel lock and into uncharted territory. Now then. What have we observed from the Illumina Pokemon we've encountered on these four islands? <laughs> that they're all gorgeous for one thing. <laughs> also. Every time we've come in contact with one, we've also detected energy readings at different locations throughout the region. Hmm. Could the Pokemon be communicating with each other? That's a possibility, but there's more. So? so far, we've picked up five energy readings, and we finally pinpointed the location of the fifth. Huh? Does that mean we're coming up on our last destination? Mm -hmm. I suspect so, yes. Hmm. Take a look. Here's our next and final island. Is it, though? <gasps> That's like a million miles away! Huh? Wait a second. Does that white mean snow? Yep. Yes, it seems the area is covered in it. All right, let me at it. Anyway, get ready, everyone. It's time to explore an island that Captain Vince himself never reached. We've discovered a new island. Hello. I've got some news I think you'll like. So? Since we've got new areas to research, I've given the near one a special upgrade. Namely a turbo function. This will really get you moving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, I gotta take it for a spin just now. Trust me, that thing can move. Yep. Not only will you get where you're going faster, but you'll also have more control over the timing of your photos. Anyway. As for the details, take it away, Rita. Yep. Yes, sir, Professor. I'll tell you. Do 
To use the turbo, just press Z up. The near one will go faster as long as you hold the button. By the way. Oh, and speaking of changing your speed. Did you know the near one slows down automatically when you look behind you or zoom in on something? That's because it reacts to how you move your camera. <laughs> Adding turbo to the mix should let you snap photos of Pokemon from lots of different angles. All right. Now let's get to investigating the new island. So you can force yourself closer to them before they move away. That's not bad. New area unlocked. Thanks. We're going to be with Icy Guy. Ice Shrew. Ice Shrew is here. Ice Slash. Oh, yeah. Shiver Snowfields. No fills in the day. After each expedition, you can save photos to your personal album. You can make last minute changes too. Can I now? Snow fields in the daytime. Let's get exploring. After that one section of not being able to progress, progress hasn't been too bad. Game does seem to have some arbitrary things like with the lentil C4, but we got it. Come here, Lenoon. Amazing. So Even better. What snow is like. I actually haven't seen much myself. Looks like a lot of Pokemon hey, live you. in this frigid place. Turn around. Seem to have angered the bear a little bit. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, wait. I'll just take a picture of it anyway, just in case. Oh, come back. Uh, hello? Where have you gone? And why are you so angry? Swinner! Oh, hello. Well, I'll leave you that. I won't press you too much. How do I get through there? <laughs> Let's play music while we're going through an icy ravine. No avalanches here. I'm going to crash to Mamo Swine. I always wanted a giant mammoth swine butt picture. Oh, man. I really missed the timing of that one. Where are you going now? Well, I've probably taken enough pictures of those little guys now. Bye! Whoa! Look! Alright, come back! Ah! Now I saw you! No one likes me. Have myself a snow run. That's probably a diamond. Hello. Oh, Glaley. Oh, Glaley, Glaley. Wake up. Seems annoyed by what I'm doing to him, though. We have to entice the Pokemon to weakness. You like the music, yeah? Go! 
up here, people up. Just going down the river, okay. Have a cut. More cool piplups. Where are you going? Just roll in, Sveal. Where are you going? I see Sveal rolling. Who am I aiming at here? Any of you want a goodie? Hip laps. It's just chilling in the hot tub. Well, Bertic's got a meal when he wakes up. Well, there's a chill for the chill. That really went quite a quick, that one. Wow. Ten more Pokemon photographed. Furret. I guess I'll go for that one. The shocked furret. It's not Linoon. It's not Linoon enough yet. So that's a free star. But that's also a free star. What, can I hit it? I think that one's going to be the one. There's a cub chew just hiding away from us. I think I'll go with that one as well. Piplup squad. Swinub. What's my best Swinub? I think that one is because it will class for size. Alright, Mamo Swine's going to be a bit more difficult. I mean, that one looks quite good. I think that one because of size and framing. I did take a picture of Crystal Bloom, but it's not... It's not lit up because it's not nighttime, so it doesn't count. Does that feel just surfing away? That one might get a good score. You never know. Glalie. Hitting it got two star. I might get a diamond because of the size again. Go with that Snorrent one. And we got the long Skarmory surveying its domain. Let's see what we got. All right. Is before it's about to get chased down by a bear dick. Size wasn't bad. No diamond, however. I'll take a gold. Have another Pokemon of the photos, a nice touch. Where? Alright, so size is gonna be quite good on this one. Pose is negative. Size was very positive. Didn't get a diamond! Hidden Cub Chew. Nice work. Size is terrible, so we can get much closer to a Cub Chew. Maybe I should have pressed the zoom function. Hip-lop. A new discovery. Nice work. Size isn't bad. Come on. So close to a diamond to not be one. Nice work. Neutral pose, size and bad direction nerfs it. Oh well. I guess this has got to be my diamond. This has got to be the one. Yes, 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 yes. Diamond. Skarmory. Hmm. A new discovery. Bronze. Nice work. Bows so far away. Direction ain't bad. Placement ain't bad. Bronze was the best that I could manage by a mile. I didn't see the Skarmory when it came dashing at me. Now this might be a diamond too. I'd mark it down for lighting. <laughs> e. Little snorts everywhere. This might be a diamond too. A oh no, I'm guessing it's got a negative pose modifier. No, pose was up by 12. Size is great. Direction's terrible. 
This direction? I thought direction would be fine. I mean, direction on this looks like it'd be bad. Direction on this is worse than the other one, but I'm going to get more points for direction now. Yeah. I don't believe it. The real goal is that I get to level two. If I don't, then we got to run it again to unlock whatever's there, but we got it. Buy a little bit extra as well. All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Yes. We researched the Rikes Island for the first time. Total of 100 gold photo evaluations. I got 100 diamond for I got 100 gold. Seven species of ice type. And one species of steel type. Scar Mori. He received the research title Gold Collector. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Nighttime now, yeah? Maybe Skarmory will get closer. Wow. That snow was quite a sight. It was a real treat to see since it never snows on Florio. I'm looking forward to seeing it in the moonlight. If you spot the Illumina phenomenon in action, don't let its brilliance distract you from taking photos of it. And keep your eyes on the prize. Wait, so... What did you unlock? <laughs> great, great. Seems something here. <laughs> did indeed unlock nighttime. Oh, he didn't really want to tell me about it, did he? Oh, sir. Phil's signature look is his spiky hairstyle. My signature look is my balding hairstyle. <laughs> Find me! Woof! Come around, doggies! Scaring away these guys. Taking loads of photos of butts again. What's going on with you guys? Oh, that, I didn't mind that to be honest. There's some kind of bird mon around here somewhere. Uh, well, you're not active, are you? So I need to keep my eyes open for crystal blooms. The running of the snorants has taken place. I might eat as looking for food. Seems to be for certain. We're going up. Awesome. <laughs> when I speed it up, it really doesn't speed it up that much. Uh oh. But they're really after him, aren't they? Dogs like the music. Braviary. They may have given this tune, but nothing really likes it. Crystal Bloom was hidden in a ravine.
Oh, he loves the music. Ah! No! You stole my pictures! Deli bird's running again. Where's it gone? I've already got my picture of the thingy. Jinx! We've got some snoms, I bet. And a frog's muffed well. Yeah, I hit it at the wrong time. Jinx, look this way. Seem to be just having a an argument, I don't know. Piplaps! Where's the snom? Good ups over there. We got a bomber slow hanging out. Something here. Then a picks. Lawrence around the place. His fields are rolling away. Hip Lups are doing their thing. Big old mammo swine. Oh. Well, I've no clue what good pictures we got on that run, but there was noms everywhere plenty. There was way more out of the night. Jinx, Frosmov, the snom picture's gonna be terrible if I even got the snom picture. I think we had more types at night than there were definitely were types of day. Yeah, 16. Time of the day does make hell of a difference. Right, so Mighty Yunas. Most of my pictures were in the butt. Until at this point, that's a free star. And that's a good thing as well, but I reckon... That's probably a diamond-ish. Now, what do I want on this one? Because size is the issue. I can zoom in and they're out of shot, or I can stay close and they're, you know... So what does one do? I guess I'll go for this Snorrent due to size and its facing isn't terrible. In terms of you, the other size is bigger. That might be a better pose. So that first Braviary pick wasn't terrible then. Nearly central. I slash burrowing away. Too bad I couldn't somehow get him out. That'll be our Delibird snap. Now the Abomber Snow one's going to be the interesting one. Because I got these ones and I thought these would be pretty good. Because they're pretty close. But then like... The last couple were good too. So I'd say that one might be a good one to use. Fan and Lux had a two star at that point. But somehow I think that one just due to size etc might be better. Again, we got size is better there, but that's just a better photo. I'll go for that jinx. That's a two star jinx. Pip laps that are sliding away. We're a three star, so we may as well just put it on the list. Crystal Bloom was captured. It's a horrible picture, though. Too much glare. Spheels feeling away. Spin up. It's probably not going to replace the one that's there. 
Alolan Vulpix will have to be that one. And I did get the pictures of the Stom from a mile away. Now that. Let's see what we've got indeed. Mygina. A new discovery. I expect a diamond on this one. Pose is good. Size is very good. Not a problem. There were enough Mighty Ina and they were very much... They were very good at posing, weren't they? They just kind of stood there, close. They let you get close. Mammo Swine. Freestar Mammo Swine. Just because it's angry with me? I don't know. So size ended up really good. So that's a diamond too. Two diamonds in a row ain't bad. That's two diamonds for him as well. Nice work. So, depending on the size was better than I thought. The other Pokemon is only going to have 80. That actually ended up way worse than I thought. No diamond there. You ruined the chain. Nice work. Ferret's definitely not it. Size is better than I thought it'd be though. Gold. It's my gold Ferret collection. A new discovery. Braviary. Nice work. I thought the pose would be better than that. I guess flying Pokemon flying isn't that exciting. In the night sky. Sand Slash. A new discovery. It's quite obscured, but I imagine the pose is better than five. I'd have thought it'd be better because it's doing stuff. Gold. Other Pokemon. There's a Snorin. Okay. There is a Snorin. Deli Bird. Direction and placement can't be terrible, so it's about the size, really. Gold. But I want diamond. Get that out of your bag. Alright, this might be a diamond then. A new discovery. Nice work. Two star. The pose was bad. Oh my goodness. Just. It's a bad pose. Now that's a bad pose. But then that's just neutral because it's just not doing anything. So size is going to be very good. Direction's going to tank the score a little. That's so close. A new discovery. Right, direction prayer be good for this. Pose is 990. Oh my god, I did it. That's a diamond. Based on the pose. Lucky, lucky. Jinx! The pose is good! Size is okay! Diamond! I've got like five diamonds off this strip. Bip mm. nice work. Now we know I'm not getting good here. Be better than I was expecting to be honest. I just caught a trailing shot after all. <laughs> yeah. 2,000 points? <laughs> I think 2,000 points is probably a bit much. Oh, okay. Direction and placement was great. A new discovery. So direction and placement might be good. Nice the pose is just going to be neutral. The size is terrible. Very nearly got to silver, though. Swinob. That's not going to be better than my original picture because the size is terrible. Which one do I keep? Well, you know which one. Rolling away Sveal. Size is terrible. Everything else is terrible. It's added to our book. Ah, Crystal Bloom. That's what we really have to, wouldn't it? The race islands crystal bloom. These bloom even in the snow and ice. Maybe that's thanks to the potent lumen energy that flows through this island. Got him. That's actually going to reach level two, isn't it? I'm thinking we took so many pictures of so many Pokemon there that it had to be. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. 
They are, are they? Ice collector. 15 species of ice types. The Ice Island's crystal bloom has been added. And type ice. Ice collector. By the way, now that we've got that crystal bloom info, I've got something to report. I hope you're excited. Still want to know why you've got goggles, safety goggles around your neck. Photography is dangerous work. That's why I send kids. <laughs> Less than minimum wage. What? Professor Mir is the villain. Todd's in on the racket. That's how he pays for his hair. Another round of Illumina Phenomenon analysis is complete. Here. So here you are, Illumina Orbs for Delice Island. Hmm. Those ought to open some new doors in your research. And with a little more progress, I think we'll be able to locate the final Illumina Pokemon. You're doing wonderfully. Keep it up. Illumina or purple. Okay. Subfair to now, you say. Swirling energy. This area is infused with a lot of Illumina energy. You might see which one behaving different than usual. I mean, I do try to hit these spots, you know. So by the look of it, we have to go to night or day again to progress. <laughs> now that we've got the orbs, we essentially just have to use them. I'm just wondering if I could take a different trip for a period of time here. It's like quite like the forest. I want to check it out on level two. Then we'll begin orbing. <laughs> 